people talk about whether product is science or art. Mm. Most people tend to answer that it's art, but I think that's mostly for self-preservation purposes. You know, it's the it's called the conspiracies against the late as Bernard Shaw said. You want to protect your own profession by making it seem really hard. But there are lots of product people who have seen a lot of products, so they have good instincts and they, they can make the right decisions, but they can't explain it. And then it looks like art. But I think the really good product leaders, they can actually explain their thinking. And that's much more valuable because then you can share it. So I actually think product is 100% science and 0% art, which I know is going to upset some people. If you think it's 100% science, then it is 100% replicable. And it is not 100% replicable. It is clear that, like Tony Fidel, Scott Belsky, the innovations and the creativity that come from visionaries like them, and I would say from you, absolutely in the same category, I'm defending you here, you are wrong. <laughs> it is not, because we can't replicate Gustav 100 times over. That's why you are you. But I think really great leaders, they are able to introspect themselves, synthesize how they think about something, and then put that into a model or try to scale it. And if you can do that, it makes the entire company much better than you bottlenecking the entire company.